Hello team and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss a lot of things about what is the best way to apply for DevOps jobs. Okay, so I'm going to explain the way that I used to do as well as what I have suggested to my students who have easily secured multiple opportunities in DevOps. So I'm going to explain everything in very much detail. So make sure to watch till end because at the end you'll be getting one surprise for you. Okay, so yeah. And yeah, one more thing team before we get started. So batch six is starting on 30th of July, which is not very far. And this is the uh, one of the ultimate kind of course, because we are going to learn everything from scratch to advance. Plus you'll be having a dedicated support from my side as well as to each one of them. People who is enrolled in this course, I'll be helping you one to one to prepare your resume to help you understand different kind of products to be added in your resume. What kind of tasks should be added? All those things I'll be helping you with. Okay. Talking about the projects that we are going to implement in this course. So we are going to have in total 10 projects that we are going to implement and these projects are different kind of projects. First, we are going to have a CRUD based Java full stack application. We are going to have a, a Node.js full stack application. We are going to have a portfolio website deployment. We are going to have a virtual browser. Then three multi tier applications we are going to have for the reason that everyone should know how to connect a database to your application. And the best part about three multi tier application is that we are going to use database Postgres SQL, MongoDB and MySQL. Okay. Talking about next project, we have a microservice based applications and then real world Java application. Last two applications that we are having are in .NET and Python. They are also full stack applications. And trust me, once you have implemented all these 10 applications, we have, you'll be having a really good knowledge in CI CD as well as in real time DevOps. And as I said, in this uh, in this course, we are also going to have cloud DevOps in Azure. Okay, so yeah, this course starts from 30th of July. As of now, we are having a early bird discount, which will be closed very soon. If you want to learn, you can enroll to this course and start learning with me. This course goes on for two months. And if you have any doubt or queries, you can just ping me on, the, on WhatsApp, whose uh, number will be in the description. Okay, and as I said, for those who are talking about uh, doubt support, so two kind of support we are providing first if you have any doubt or queries you can just put it in a dedicated telegram group of batch six if not you can ping me directly or connect to me okay so yeah uh, this course will be starting so check it out now before we start understanding like how we should be applying let me show you the resume that i use okay so two resume i'm going to show you first one is this one this is actually was shared to me by one of my uh, senior person who is at a very high package Okay, trust me, this is one of the best resumes. So yeah, first of all, make sure that whatever certifications you are having, put them in this corner so that it makes your resume looks much better. Okay, professional summary, do not put, uh, do not put too, like too much of it. Just put it crisp and concise so that very clear it's written what exactly you do and what exactly you are experienced with. Talking about technical skills, highly recommended to categorize them. Like version control, build tool, categorization, so and so. The reason that I say is to categorize them because it becomes very much easier for the interviewer to understand your skill sets. And by seeing in this format, they can easily understand that you are a well skilled person in DevOps. Okay. So make sure that you are categorizing them. Talking about next section, we have work experience. Here you can add projects. Okay. And trust me, this tabular format is one of the most like uh, liked resume kind of thing at least in Nokri, most of my students who have secured uh, like multiple offers they have used the same resume okay talking about this so, uh, project section for resume so you can uh, you can add project name your role and the tools used and the key contributions in key contributions basically you need to write what kind of task you used to do and what kind of uh, like day-to-day -day activities you do with respect to that project one more thing that you would notice that few of the words are highlighted in the task so that directly the interviewer can check out okay what what's written here okay it's a very good uh, strategy for uh, gaining attention from the interviewer okay similar to that we can add second project and i suggest at least two to three projects should be added minimum out of that one project should be on cloud because cloud is very much high in demand at this point so if you have worked on cloud make sure to add it 100 percent it's very good then certifications we are having and then achievements Achievements actually I highly recommend to add achievements because when interviewer sees that you have this awards and all they know key this guy is very much hard working and he has received multiple awards so it proves very good point in your side okay 
then your uh, academic qualification and personal details this is one resume that i use second resume which is already i think available in my telegram group you can check it out this is also similar kind of fit but little bit less colored okay here also in the same format as i said technical skin should be in tabular format or categorized way work experience then projects you can add you can add your task also and see this section it's quite useful to add tools and technology used because if you are adding in this format easily interviewer will understand okay the guy is having knowledge in these tools with real time projects okay and second project i have added in cloud as i say ki one cloud project should be there it's very much useful and third project so yeah i generally prefer to add at least two to three project minimum same thing i would suggest for you certification and awards and education details so yeah these two resume i prefer uh, to use and most of my students are also using the same resume okay now let's talk about how we should be applying to a uh, devops job in order to get uh, shortlisted and get more calls okay now first platform which is the best platform at this point nokri.com question is how we should be applying right for example uh, for application i can just go on home and here we can search before that first of all you know make sure that your profile is 100% completed secondly this section key skills here you should be maybe you can take a screenshot these are certain skill sets that are very much high in demand that's the reason that i have added them here you might be noticing two things sql and java even i have added because along with uh, like devops i just wanted to add this uh, and it gave me very much like it was kind of very much useful so this is the key skills and other things are like general things that you can add also one more thing team make sure that you are updating your nokri profile on daily basis it's not key you need to like basically update or do things you can simply like click here and like maybe do something and click on save the reason that i say so because when hr are going or like browsing through different profile different candidates they will see your profile as one of the fresh profile recently updated this means the profile is completely fresh okay that is one thing talking about how to apply you can click on jobs and here we need to provide keyword so i have compiled a list of keyword which i would suggest for you to add i'll share you share this in telegram group as well you can copy that and paste this list of keywords here select the experience let's say i'll go with 3 interlocution as of now i'm not putting because my usually my first target is to get at least one offer letter using that offer letter later on we can get more okay click on search and now here you see we have a sort by recommended right what i suggest uh, to go with relevance because when you go with relevance only devops profiles will be shown to you okay devops or sre whatever we have written in the search icon one more thing that you need to understand team uh, focus more on applying the profiles that are very new that are like you can see here one day ago that means posted last 24 hours 24 hours ago okay so focus more on these profiles because if you are applying to some job that was posted like 20 days ago there is a very less chance that you will be getting shortlisted because a profile a job profile that is old like 20 days ago that means more than a uh, thousand or 2000 people will be applying or even 5000 okay so i suggest that focus more on the pro, uh, job uh, opportunities that are posted within one day okay that you can do and similar to that you can just go here and uh, like go scroll down and apply as much as you can this is what i can suggest with respect to uh, nokri now talking about linkedin what how linkedin is going to help us right so first of all you can simply go here search for devops job okay this page will open now one thing that you need to make sure here you can see there are jobs opportunities that are posted 22000 right first thing make sure po- uh, select the past 24 hours when you select past 24 hours then it becomes like only devops jobs opportunities posted last 24 hours and they are very much fresh that means not many people have might have applied to that profile okay experience level let us say i'll go with associate and click on uh, show results we have around 67 results right one thing you might be able to notice ki it was posted 9 hours ago and even from that time we are having 100 applicants applicants that from this you can understand the level of competition that we are having right that's why i'm saying ki apply to specifically in linkedin only apply to past 24 hours 
jobs posted past 24 hours because if you are applying to profiles that are older than that it's very less chance that you might be getting the opportunity or you might be getting shortlisted okay so in this format you can filter out on linkedin get out the uh, get these profiles and you can apply to all of them okay this is what i can suggest for linkedin another thing that you might have heard okay you should be uh, messaging other connections on linkedin for referral that rarely works because usually you know uh, no matter how like uh, like happily or like how honestly i'm going to someone saying okay, okay please refer me in your company usually people people do not do that but very rarely this that might happen so i wouldn't say that rely on that i would say focus on this apply to jobs posted in last 24 hours second uh, third website that i highly recommend is highrisk.tech okay why i'm saying that because let's say uh, here i search devops and i search it and it's i'll select the experience level as one two three click on apply now you can see there are uh, multiple jobs that that we are just able to see now select this select this similar to that you can select up to 50 and click on apply that means you can apply to those opportunities in one go right that means minimum 50 opportunities you can apply within few minutes and that's why i highly recommend hiris.tech as well you only think applying to 50 jobs in one minute how good is that right because main target that i would suggest prepare good resume make sure you are skilled and make sure that you are applying to uh, jobs at least like more than 100 a day because just from nokri and uh, linkedin you can apply up to 70 to 80 jobs rest 50 40 you can apply here okay and posting make sure to keep it three days because as i say you should be applying to latest jobs that will get you more opportunities okay so hirish.tech this is another platform that i highly recommend to apply and next one last one we have insta hire which most of you might already know but still you can simply go here and job function here you can put as devops so select devops and cloud and select the experience let's say i'll put three click on show result again it will also show and lot all different like devops engineer sre and all and you can start applying from this platform also so these are the four platforms that i highly recommend to start up start applying on okay and again team if you want the resume you can just check out the telegram channel it should be pinned in there okay so yeah again team uh, at, uh finally like uh, yeah basics is starting 30th of july make sure to check it out if interested you can enroll if you have any doubts or queries how it, how it can be useful for you you can uh, ping in the uh, telegram group or you can ping me directly on whatsapp one more thing team as i said since i have just explained you different ways you can send me your resume for review if you want i won't be charging anything for it but i i, I can do it for free you can share me your resume okay okay team so that will be all for today and ho i hope this was useful and this should be helping you so yeah if it's so then make sure to give it a like and thanks for watching have a nice day